So you want to know more about bladder control. Leaking urine is a common and sometimes embarrassing problem. A lot of people experience little leaks once in a while, and they'll say it's not a big deal. However, others lose small to medium amounts quite often, and this really bothers them and affects their lives. Good news. There are some great solutions out there, so you don't need to live with it. Let's review the most common types of leakage. Leaking urine can happen when you put pressure on your bladder, like when you cough, sneeze, laugh, or when you're running around. This is called stress incontinence, and it's the most common type. Usually, this type of pressure or leakage doesn't happen at night unless it's very severe. Leaking urine can also happen with a strong urge or as you're trying to reach the bathroom. Your whole bladder can empty all of a sudden and without your control. This is called urge incontinence. It can happen at night and keep you from sleeping. Let's review how the bladder works. When you pee, your bladder muscle contracts to send urine out through an open gate called the urethra. When you hold your urine, your bladder muscle relaxes, the gate is closed, and the urine stays in the bladder. Unless you're drinking lots of fluids, the bladder normally empties about five to seven times a day. As you age, your bladder may also ask to be emptied once or twice at night. The pelvic floor is like your gatekeeper. Stress incontinence is leakage that occurs when your pelvic floor muscles are unable to close the gate in time or to close it securely enough. The leak is usually a few drops at a time. Urge incontinence is leakage that occurs when your bladder is twitchy and can't relax. Typical triggers are running water or turning your key in the lock when you get home. Your bladder keeps sending you to the bathroom and you just can't make it on time. With this, you may leak your whole bladder at once. Your doctor needs to know the whole story and examine you carefully before making a diagnosis. Using a bladder diary to track your food, drinks, and peeing helps as well. You'll be asked to cough during a pelvic examination, and you may need to pee in a cup to check your urine for problems like infection. Sometimes, other tests are needed to decide which treatments are best for you. Why do you lose control of your bladder? Pelvic floor muscles need to be strong to keep the urethra closed and the bladder relaxed so you don't leak urine. Many things can weaken these muscles. Pregnancy, childbirth, repetitive strain, your body's weight, your genes, or just the passage of time. What can you do? To prevent this from getting worse, try to avoid things that make you strain or bear down, such as heavy lifting and constipation. If you cough a lot, speak to your doctor about ways to treat your cough. A healthy body weight and good posture also help maintain normal pressure on your bladder and pelvic floor and may help with stress leaks. That morning cup of coffee may wake you up, but may also send you running to the bathroom. It might be time to switch to decaf or avoid caffeine altogether. Sometimes, you need to send your bladder to a boot camp and do some bladder drills. This is when you try to wait a little longer in between two peas. Pelvic floor muscle exercises can work wonders for your bladder, and pelvic physiotherapists can help you do them correctly. Your doctor may also suggest a pessary, which is like a splint for your urethra. It fits in the vagina, and a pelvic physiotherapist, nurse, or doctor needs to pick the right size and shape for you. If it's the right fit, you won't feel that it's there, and it will stop you from leaking urine. You can learn to put it in and take it out, and you may want to use it just during exercise. If these first steps don't work and you still leak, medications or surgery could help you. Medications relax twitchy bladders and help you hold your pee much longer. They also help you sleep through the night without the need to pee. Surgery is usually the last resort because it's more risky. That said, it is generally more durable and can cure your stress incontinence once and for all. You'll need to talk to a surgeon about the different options available. So remember, if you leak when you cough, sneeze, laugh, or exercise, you may have stress incontinence. For this, consider maintaining a healthy body weight, avoiding heavy lifting or constipation, learning pelvic floor muscle exercises, or going for a pessary fitting. Surgery might be needed if all else fails. If you're always running to the bathroom and leak on the way, 
you may have urge incontinence. For this, consider avoiding bladder irritants in your diet, learning pelvic floor muscle exercises and bladder drills, or taking medications as advised by your doctor.